Hey guys, it's Steph, the Midwest Cowgirl, and today we're gonna work on trailer loading. We have Copper with us today, and he, Copper's only been on practicing with the trailer one other time since he was four months old, and he's gonna be five in October. So it's been quite a bit of time since he's been on a trailer. So I figured it would be a really good opportunity to film working with him to get in the trailer so that it's pretty raw material. So you can see my approach when it comes to getting a horse used to getting in the trailer. I like to do it so that it's a lot of positive reinforcement. I never ever force the horse in the trailer because then you're never gonna get them in the trailer again. In my experience, I've seen a lot of people try to force their horse or scare the horse into the trailer. And when they do that, they more often than, than not are gonna have trouble in the future to get their horse back on that trailer. You wanna make it a positive thing and something that they're confident doing so that they're not afraid to get in this giant scary box and go somewhere. So you want them to trust you to get on the trailer and gaining their confidence is the best way to approach it. A lot of people will pull their horse into the trailer and there's never any relief for them. Or you'll see people push or get behind them with a rope and just kind of push them in the trailer with it. And then again, that's a forceful method that is not gonna help your horse to wanna get back on the trailer again. So today I'm gonna go over with Copper on to get him in the trailer in a positive way so that when in the time comes that we do take him somewhere he's going to be more willing to get on the trailer and trust me so the first thing i do with a horse that is probably nervous about trailering or has not been on a trailer in a very long time is i always walk them up to the trailer let them sniff around smell let them know that it's not going to eat them uh, because we are essentially asking them to, as you can see he's already really nervous so um, so I want him to know that it's not gonna come alive and eat him. So he, I'm gonna let him smell it and walk around and gain his confidence first before I ask him to do anything scary. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm first gonna start off with walking him up to the trailer. I'm gonna let him smell it. I'm not gonna have any pressure on the rope. You're gonna see that there's gonna be a lot of pressure and release in the rope. So if he, but if he is resting back, I am gonna have consistent pressure on the rope so that when he tries and puts effort, there's gonna be slack. So that's the reward, is to get him willingly wanna step onto the trailer. Horses don't like pressure. So when they feel that pressure and they come forward and they have the reward of slack and no pressure, they'll like that. They'll start to figure it out. So first we gotta get our kitty out of the trailer. Come on, blue cat. So I'm gonna walk him up and smell it. There's a chance blue is gonna scare him. Come on, blue kitty. So I'm just gonna let him smell it. I'm gonna pet him, let him know it's okay. And now I'm gonna step into the trailer. So, and if you saw my hand, there was pressure, like steady pressure on the rope he wanted to look away and leave and I told him no you got to look at the trailer and actually try Boy. so now I'm going to ask him to take a step into it I'm going to ask him to try a little bit more so when he gives now he's going to try and leave I'm going to hold the pressure and release the pressure as soon as he's trying he's looking in the trailer there's not going to be any pressure and a lot of positive reinforcement. Oh boy. So there was a try, so I gave him, I let go of the pressure. So as soon as he sits back and he wants to leave, there's pressure on the rope. Now he's there. Good boy. of my pressure and release. 
for boy. Good boy. I'm going to come in a little further. So if he starts to back up, there's going to be pressure. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, so the reason why I w really wanted to record working with Copper is because I feel like it was pretty raw footage of me working with him. He has not been in a trailer since he was four months old. It's been about, you know, almost five years. And I wanted you guys to see the importance of pressure and release when working with the horse to get in the trailer so that they understand the reward is in the trailer because there's no pressure and there's praise. Unfortunately, our camera died like right before he got on, so we had to switch cameras. This is the second time he's ever tra trailer loaded, so the fact that he hasn't been on in almost five years since a baby is pretty impressive that it only took 30 minutes. So he did a fantastic job, and again, there was when I had when he would back up, I would have to apply pressure and make his feet move so that he understood that I'm gonna make you work when you're not trying to get in the trailer. As soon as he was trying to get in the trailer or working at it, there was no pressure, unless he started to back up or look somewhere else and decide to leave. And then eventually he decided, oh, I like this better, not having any pressure on my face or no pressure to get my feet to move. Because as soon as he'd look in here, he'd be like, okay, there's no pressure. And then he just popped right on. So now what I'm gonna do is ask him to come on and off just a couple of times, just so he knows he can get on, he's safe, and he can get off safe. And that's, and then after that, we'll call it.
so good. So he's licking and chewing, which is a good sign where he's like, okay, I understand. It's not that bad. I didn't die. He survived. So we'll call it at that. So thanks guys for watching. I love trailer loading. It's one of my favorite things to do with the horses. So stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching guys.